as well. So I'm not saying that I'm like Leonardo da Vinci, but I just wonder what happened to me. Yeah. Um, when I was a kid, I actually a person who uh, having problem with um, you know uh, making friends. I have not so many friends. Except my mom will always help me, um, so that uh, she will find out whoever around us and please make friends with my kids. You know? And um, because of that, I always become the winner. You know, because my mom it will always make sure that you know uh, something like that. And I have difficulties as well to start conversation. And I prefer to do uh, my own stuff in my room. Um, uh, in my during my um, uh, primary school, um, I make my own speaker using newspaper, magnet, and also wire. And um, I need to make sure that the door, you know, if someone opens the door, um, it will shout at you to close the door. And my curtain in my room can be closed automatically. So I did this during my uh, primary school. And I also have difficulties to learn, in fact, because I cannot understand logic. Um, everything, I want to see the logic behind it. For instance, when the teacher said, aerodynamic is something like this. But when I asked the teacher, why the board is designed like that? And the, the teacher couldn't answer that. And this one is, if you look at the car, there's one mosquito there. When I ask the teacher, teacher, can mosquito fly as fast as the car? And the teacher said, no way. I said, why are the flies flying inside my father's car? And the teacher also cannot explain that. But I feel so frustrated uh, because of that. And this is how I can calculate mathematics. You know, I have difficulties in mathematics. I believe that students here also, uh, some of you maybe, don't like mathematics. Me too. This is how I, this is happening up until now. When someone asked me seven times eight, what happened in my mind is this. Seven times 10 minus seven times two is equal to 17 minus 14 is equal to 56. Or I will do it this way, eight times five plus eight times two, which is equal to 40 plus 16 is equal to 56. The reason why, because I cannot remember multiplication table very well. Because, you know, I remember all of you, at the school level, multiplication table is something like, you know, if you can't remember it, the teacher will scrutinize you. So, but the easiest way for me to memorize this is by memorize the 10 and 2 only, and then do the subtractions and also um, O plus there. And English as well. You know, I have difficulties with English language. Uh, please mind my English right now because so uh, sometimes I'm, st I'm still confused with uh, a few things. Because to me, English is not logic. <laughs> um, for instance, I just want to give you an example of this. Good. When the teacher said, good, if you want to pronounce it, good is uh, you... The double O in the middle should be, sounds like um, uh, you, right? And I said, why door is not door? <laughs> so I cannot, I cannot get this. And as well as this, knife, knee, gaze, guard. And the teacher said, the U and K is silent. I just wonder, if it is silent, why you need to put that? Am I right? You know, and it was just, <laughs> I, I, all these things make me confused. Um, but if you can't explain to me, 
I feel like I don't want to listen to you. As simple as that. And ended up that I just do my own thing. And um, one day, when uh, actually my mom, uh, we, we were quarreling about the results. You know, um, in Malaysia we have uh, rank, we have to rank the students, right? Uh, whether you are number one, number two, number three, or being the last person in the class. And um, I managed to get 10, number 10. And the previous, and then after that, I managed to get number 18. And when my mom said, Oh my God, what happened to your results? Your results is decreasing. I said, No, it's increasing. <laughs> no, it's decreasing. I said, No. 10 to 18 is increasing. <laughs> I said, that's why I feel like at that time, I still remember, um, because I don't understand what is this all about. You know? um, to me, this number is not so important as well. Either increasing or decreasing doesn't matter to me. But as far as I'm concerned, if the number is bigger then, it's supposed to be increasing. And I also have a memory problem. Um, I don't know whether it's a memory problem because somehow I still remember when I was a kid. Um, but I prefer to visualize things. If you want to ask me questions, students, don't use so many words because I do not know what I'm going to ask. I prefer the question to be short. And I also don't remember names very well. The worst case is I remember my mother's name. Yes, it's happened. But I never forget my father's name. Why? Because my name will always come together with my father's name. <laughs> I hope that the registration office probably could put my mother's name as well in my IC so that I remember it. After all, I'm here because of the operation between both. And um, my secretary, because as a dean, my secretary more about this. You know, when I try to call my deputy dean, for instance, sometimes I forgot their name. But in order for me to call them, I need to describe, you know. And my PA, my secretary, will become someone who tries to guess who is this person. <laughs> and I said, Farida, uh, I want to see um, a big and uh, bold and I uh, got white hair here. Ah, uh, Ryan, um, uh, Asmadi, um, and then you need to keep, you know, telling me until I say, yeah, huh, that's the one. Call him, I want to meet him. You know? So, I have this problem. And I also don't remember my PIN number. <coughs> but somehow I can visualize the pattern. And sometimes I also forgot the pattern. <laughs> but I can only remember the pattern when I see the ATM machine and after I look at the keypad and the memory will come out and I, um, I can visualize the pattern and I can withdraw my money it's up until now if you ask me now I also don't know what is my ATM number but this is, this is not the, my ATM pattern <laughs> and this is uh, the way I normally answer questions. I know that when you ask me questions, that's going to be my answer. Because at the same time, I will think that you're probably going to ask me these two questions. And I already prepared the answer. 
And for that answer, I will say you're probably going to ask me these questions. And I also prepare the answer. It could be multi-level. And the way I answer, uh, I answer the questions is by uh, bottom up like this. And ended up that some people perceive me as not answering questions, including my wife. Um, because that's the reason why if my wife asks me, they just want yes or no. <laughs> the, the banana picture here reminds me to my supervisor when I was uh, doing my PhD at York University. Um, he said, Asri, I just wonder why when you want to talk about banana, you said the shape is long, the color is yellow, and it tastes like, it's, it tastes very delicious, and it's soft. For you to eat it, you have to peel it off, and it is a banana. Why don't you just tell me it's a banana? <laughs> you know, because every time I submit my draft, everything in red, you know. I have to revamp everything, I have to change everything. Because this is how I explain. I, somehow, it is happen, uh, happening up until now. So I believe that those students who, you know, uh, used to talk with me or ask me questions are probably a bit uh, weird when I go around the bush and before I go to the real answer that you that what you want. Well, in 2013, I received a research grant to help dyslexic people uh, to uh, sound design because my research field is sound and I just hope that I can help these dyslexic people uh, and use sound to, to solve their problem. And the more I read, the more I found that this is so close to me because I never take any uh, professional evaluation before. But when I talk to the professional, they say that I think you are dyslexic. Um, I believe that um, we are just like anyone else. You know, um, I believe that maybe some of you facing the same problem, or your kids may be facing the same problem. Um, we are just like anyone else. What we need is just support, understanding, and opportunity. I believe that everyone is born unique. So let's just celebrate and explore our uniqueness. If we say that we are born unique, the problem must be unique as well. The way we solve the problem must be unique. So it doesn't mean that if I can do this, you can do, you got a problem. It shouldn't be like that. As a Muslim, we believe this Allah uh, never will Allah change the condition of our people until they change it themselves. So to me, the most important thing is you have to understand yourself, to reflect yourself, and try to solve your problem yourself. Because nobody is going to change yourself except you. So with that, Thank you very much.